finally, finally, I wish I would have done this 20 years ago. That's why I'm making these videos for you so you can learn from my mistakes. Finally, I did something I said I would never do. Hi guys, this is Chilla with Best Babe 007 and this is part two of what is the science of weight loss. We will focus on exercise today. 75% uh, of your weight loss journey will depend on your diet, but we still have 25% to work with on exercise. Now, exercise should be fun. It releases stress, it's healthy. That's what your motivation should be. Not because you want to lose weight, you have to do exercise, in my opinion. Because if you do that, if you go, go by that theory, if you don't see results in a few weeks, you will quit doing exercises. Also, you should pick an exercise that you like, because it doesn't matter how effective certain exercises are if you don't like it you will not stick with it always look for long-term goals and uh, lifestyle change instead of just short term results that you won't be able to maintain my motivation for working out is that if i don't eat right and if i don't work out i feel terrible i don't feel good now when i um focused on workouts after i kind of got tired of experimenting with diets and trying to eat healthy and not seeing enough results. I tried every kind of workout program out there and I thought if I would just find the right workout program, I would be happy and I would lose weight and I would look good and I would be in shape. Um, I think I missed the, the whole picture because I was focusing on the wrong questions. You have to ask the right questions. Luckily, I kept asking questions because I didn't see the results. So I said, something is wrong, something doesn't work. Even though I was getting more and more knowledgeable and I had more and more experience. So I failed so much that I started to see success because I just didn't, I couldn't have, I couldn't fail more. So eventually something had to work, right? If you try everything, something will work at the end of the day and I didn't give up. That's a very good uh, point again. Don't don't give up. Don't don't get, don't be discouraged. You will figure this out. And everything that I tell you, these are tools that you can use for your life. And you can dial the perfect shape, the perfect appearance, the perfect weight, and the perfect healthy and active lifestyle if you follow my advice. Yeah, follow my advice. <laughs> it worked for me, right? <laughs> okay. So once I uh, done all the workouts, um, the only thing happened is that I lost weight and I became skinny, skinny fat, skinny flat. So I said, what's wrong? Why, uh, why do I not look better? If I put this much energy and effort and time in working out and eating healthy, I should look great. Uh, don't make me wrong. I'm not complaining. I look wonderful. I feel very confident. But I didn't see the results equal the effort that I invested in this whole idea. And this is my hobby, so I was always up to date on information and uh, experimentation. So doing all the body weight exercises focused on cardio, for some reason I always picked the workouts that were cardio heavy because I thought that's the healthy way, that's the way to go. Uh, I realized that I was getting so strong, I needed to add extra weight. So I put on a weight vest, first a 12 pound waist vest, not after that a 20 pound weight vest. Then I started to jump around with dumbbells, 25 pound dumbbells in each hand. And I was waving them and, and jumping in our apartment while my three kids were sleeping because I thought that that's the way to <laughs> be in shape and be happy. Well, it wasn't. Guess what happened? I got injured terribly bad. I threw out my shoulder. I dealt with it for two years with an injury. Luckily that stopped me. It could have been much worse, I think. Luckily that stopped me from trying out another workout program and, and, and uh, failing with it. Uh, not that these workouts don't have value. A lot of YouTubers, a lot of programs are, are well intended and uh, work for some people if, if, if used in a smart way. Um, for me, I needed something else and I, I didn't know what that was, but I thought I will figure it out. So I couldn't add more weights. I couldn't even work out. I was injured. So I was at the age where I thought, okay, I will do something that I said I will never do. And that's joining a gym. 
Finally, finally, ladies, join the local gym. It costs like $20, $25 to join a gym, maybe where you are at its 50 or 100 a month. It's well worth the investment. Everything you get from the gym is, is just you will never look back. That's what I advocate for. Uh, join a gym. Now, even if you are a professional athlete or a soccer player or, or a runner, you still will use and benefit from the gym. I interviewed a girl, a woman who just tried out for the Olympic Games, 800 meter, and he, he, uh, and she did it. So uh, I interviewed her for many reasons, but one of the reasons was because I wanted to see if she works out in the gym. So she said they train in the morning, they run 50 miles a week or something like that. And then in the afternoon, they work out in the gym, muscle isolation, focusing on the areas that they need more work after doing all the running. So even if you're a professional runner, you will benefit from weight bearing exercises. Once I joined the gym, luckily I went to the main floor instead of the treadmill and the classes. I was done with those. I never wanted to do another class. I never wanted to uh, walk another step on the treadmill. Obviously, I'm still doing it until this day, but luckily I started on the main floor. I thought I'm going to be a big shot with my athletic abilities and I was the smallest little spot there because I didn't know what I was doing and everybody was buffed and healthy and strong and I was amazed and blown away and I thought, where was I? How did I miss this? For for the last 20 years so working out at home and with my little weights and with my little classes it's nothing compared to being on the floor where you can pick your weight and pick your workout and and go for it uh, I love it I, I I became so confident now I go to the gym I feel like I own the gym <laughs> <laughs> I love the gym. I, I really, uh, it's not just because of the workouts that you honestly, it's because of the stress relief aspect and how relaxing it is for me to have my time at the gym where I leave home. And all the gyms have childcare facilities now. Why did I miss out on that when I had three little kids of age two and five and eight? I could have been there this gym that I belong to has a $15 unlimited childcare. Moms, just take your kids there and work out for an hour every day. You will love it. Okay, so why am I advocating for weight-bearing exercises? Weight-bearing exercises are beneficial for your heart health, for your brain, for your joints, uh, muscle building, and, and maintaining a lean uh, body mass. It is also good for flexibility, for uh, stress relief, as I said, it's just straight out healthy. Also increases bone intensity. That is very important, especially when you're getting older. Huge benefit from that. It also burns calories, especially if you work out intensely. And uh, it's very safe. I never got an injury ever since I started to work out in the gym but if i go play soccer i guarantee you that i will get injured so it's really actually scientifically proven that weightlifting is a safe sport mind-blowing also you won't get manly you won't look bulky and manly uh, you will get curves you will be a isolate certain muscles uh, you will just become strong and I believe that strong is the new skinny. To being strong is freeing, it's confidence building, it looks good, it feels good. Nothing, there's no one negative thing about weightlifting that I can say. Also your BMR increases when your lean muscle mass increases, so this is huge. So my BMR is pretty high because I have a lot of muscle. So I can eat a generous amount of calories and these muscles keep me like a calorie burning furnace. I always feel like that. I eat and it just burns up because I have to fuel all my muscles and muscles, muscle tissue uses and burn more calories than fat tissue. That's how simple it is. Also, uh, weight bearing exercises have an afterburn effect that is actually uh, stays way longer than doing cardio. So cardio uses energy as well, but this afterburn causes the body to burn more calories after the workout is, is going to keep staying with you after a nice, intense, weight-bearing workout. How often you work out is not as important 
as what intensity level you work out on. So after my new begins in the gym, I actually stagnated. I couldn't build more muscle. I had to up my protein, first of all, but also I never really heard about progressive overload. Progressive is key. Ah! Progressive overload is key when it comes to weight bearing exercises, resistance training, uh, weightlifting, strength training, so many names we can put uh, to it. And also, just so you know, it's not about just weights, it could be also body weight exercises or exercises with bands, any kind of resistance training I'm talking about. So progressive overload actually means gradually challenging your body more. But basically the the best way described what I heard so far was that you have to work out, do the exercise until you feel the burn. You will feel a pump, you feel a burn, and you work through the burn until you feel that muscle group working. Or if it's a compound movement, you feel the muscle groups working. Progressive load is more weight, more stress on your body, uh, more reps, more sets. The amount of tension that your muscles create. Does that make sense? Uh, for me, I mostly vary the weight. I would much rather pick a handful of exercises that I learn with perfect form and carry out perfectly that I can progressively overload, then look for new and new workouts and new exercises that uh, I have to learn over and over again. Now I do learn new exercises, but I add new exercises to my workout uh, routine here and there instead of changing it every day. I don't believe in muscle confusion. I don't think we need to confuse the muscle for it to grow. I recommend four to seven hours of exercise a week that includes weight bearing exercises or the sport that you are good at and that you like or whatever exercise and workout you do. Uh, preferably weight bearing exercises or included weight bearing exercises and cardio. I will talk about cardio in a second. I recommend eight to 12 reps for about three sets with two to three minutes of rest period in between the sets 75 percent of your one rep max and then proper recovery between workouts some people prefer to work out for three four five days uh, some people do push pull leg days others do upper body lower body then a rest day uh, some people do whole body for one day part of the whole body for one day part of the whole body for the next then a rest day some people isolate muscle groups and they have a chest and a, then a leg day then a breast day then a biceps and triceps day the other type of exercise i recommend is doing cardio but don't misuse and abuse cardio, please, 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 because it will do more harm. It will drive you to exhaustion if you misuse it. Unless the sport that you pick and you like involves a lot of cardio and you do it smart and uh, you watch your diet. I'm talking about myself who slowly built enough muscle tone and built a body composition I feel comfortable with. I really would like to preserve my gains by not overdoing cardio. That's all. Cardio will help you to reach your weight loss goals. It does burn calories and it's very beneficial for cardiovascular health. According to the American Heart Association, they recommend 150 minutes of cardio a week. I would caution you to be very careful, especially if you are already in a calorie deficit. Also, eventually if you do a lot of cardio, your body will start to get used to it and will become more efficient handling the same amount and the same type of cardio as what you always do. So you will end up burning less calories over time. What type of cardio do I do? I do a combination of HIIT workouts, high intensity interval training, and LIS workouts, low intensity steady state cardio. Uh, HIIT workouts tap more into our glycogen stores, while LIS workouts uh, tap in more into our fat storage. And because of that, it's believed that doing uh, slow and steady cardio will help you more with weight loss, when actually it's more beneficial to do HIIT high intensity interval training if your goal is to lose weight. HIIT workouts activate the release of human growth hormones and testosterone, which play a key role in 
metabolizing fat in the body and keeping your metabolic rate high. Hit workouts are also very time effective. So you can do much less of high intensity workouts than low intensity, burn the same calories or even more and still benefit from it big time. I would rather do hit workouts than long, slow and steady cardio. And I am not against slow and steady. You will see, I will tell you what I do for uh, less cardio. But I love the HIIT workouts, especially since I realized that HIIT workouts, not just burpees and push-ups, that you can actually turn anything to a HIIT workout. It's all about the high intensity level, right? So what kind of HIIT workout do I recommend uh, for weightlifters? Something that imitates that movement the most and that's rowing or riding bikes so i do rowing as a hit workout some people prefer sprints i don't do i do sprints but not too often because it's just very taxing on my uh, quads and i would like to preserve my quads for uh, lifting weights but even swimming can be done as a hit workout hit workouts are somewhere between 15 to 25 minutes uh, they they have a full-on go out about 90 percent or more a high intensity part and then a recovery part that is not a rest period so i still would move around and get ready for the high intensity part again. Um, they say with less, if you do low intensity, if you can't keep up a conversation, you're going too fast, your intensity level is too high. It's the opposite with HIIT workouts. If you aren't out of breath, then you are not high intensity at all. So with uh, rowing, for example, uh, you can do work up to start with one minute high intensity, one minute recovery or two minute recovery and work up all the way to four or five minutes with biking, rowing, swimming. You can do high intensity for minutes in a row. With, with sprinting, you can work up to 30 seconds or a little longer and that's about it. Sprinting is even harder than what I do with rowing. Uh, if it's done with high intensity. But a lot of people do push-ups and uh, burpees or jump roping for HIIT workouts and they are really happy with it. Again, it's the same principle, whatever you like, whatever kind of exercise you want to do HIIT workouts on or less workouts on, that's what you should stay with. Uh, less for less workouts, I recommend walking simple walking it's underestimated because it's not painful so people think that because it's not painful it doesn't burn enough calories but actually it does if you get uh, a 35 to 45 minutes walk in two three times a week that adds up it will definitely help your weight loss and it will give you the amount of cardio low intensity steady state cardio that you will benefit from in your week uh, i also recommend about one to three hit workouts not more than that Wow, I have talked a lot about the science of weight loss part two exercise. I hope you learned something today. I hope you benefited from uh, the fundamentals that I'm trying to uncover for you. Uh, just go hit the gym, just go play your sport, be careful, stay safe, uh, do some cardio for heart health. But most of all, have fun, enjoy it, uh, release the stress, have a little time for yourself and uh, you will feel great, you will be happy and as a side effect, you will be in shape, you will look young and you will feel young. That's it for today, thank you for watching, please give me a thumbs up if you like my video, subscribe and uh, see you soon. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it, do it, do it. So, one more time. My motivation for working out. Where was I? My motivation for working out. Guys, being a YouTuber is not easy. 